Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to talk about fabrics and the auto fabric feature in Hatch. Now I know you guys know about the auto fabric feature and I hope you guys are using it but first we better bring our tablet in with some magic. There we are, some editing magic. Um, so in auto fabric, I, I hope everybody knows what the auto fabric is. It's going to set up your designs. You know, you bring it in as a new template and you set it up. You set up auto fabric so that it'll have specific settings for the fabric chosen. It'll also tell you what stabilizer to do. But what if you can't find what you're looking for? Well, there's an easy solution to it. So let's go to software settings and I'm just tapping with my pen. Let's go to manage auto fabrics. And here we have it here. You can see all the different ones that we have, but say you wanted to do, you know, specifically for t-shirts or for something that you specifically want to do, you can create your own and you can set it up exactly how you want. So let's go ahead and do that. So a PK shirt, let's do create and we're going to base it on the PK. So we're going to call it, okay, custom PK, that's fine. And let's click on OK. And if you look here, you have a lot of different settings. So you can set the preferred stitch length for the tatami or embossed fill. So you can get really, really specific with this. And you can create an auto fabric for a lot of different things that you use and just rename them. So there's a lot of settings. So underlay type, you can set the underlay type that you want, that you feel works the best. Stitch length, you can set that up. And it's really wonderful because if you apply this to something that you're working on, all these settings will be included. So you don't have to go back and reset everything. So satin, you can set up this, the underlay, um, the stitch length again, the pull comp, you can even set up the pull comp. Narrow satin, how you want narrow satin to run. And I like all of this. Lettering, we can even be specific about lettering. And here you go, you can set up your own stabilizer. So if you're doing, you know, t-shirts that are really thin, and you want specific, you want a little more underlay on it to make it work better. Um, and then you want it to, to use um, cutaway, which is what I would use for it. You can just write that in there and save it. And then every time when you, let's get out of this, every time when you go to, to do your auto fabrics, you'll find it there and I think it's awesome. So if you can't find what you're looking for in auto fabric, set it up yourself and that is how it's done here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everyone for watching. Set Hatch up the way you want to use it and make good use of all the benefits in Hatch and we'll see you guys in the next video.